हेलो वेलकम टू अरविंद सिंह एकेडमी कैसे हो बच्चों आज हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं केमिस्ट्री के फर्स्ट चैप्टर की साइंस के फर्स्ट चैप्टर की और आप लोग उम्मीद है कि इसे बहुत पसंद करेंगे दिस चैप्टर इज बेसिकली अबाउट द मैटर एंड व्हाट इज मैटर दैट वी हैव टू डिस्कस टुडे एंड मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग दिस इज व्हाट द टॉपिक वी हैव टू डिस्कस टुडे so what is matter uh, just uh, you can see around uh, the object you have you will feel that uh, there are so many things some of them are uh, like uh, liquid nature that uh, you can drink it water like cold drinks like juice like you can drink it some of them like you are sitting on a chair you can't drink it right but you can sit on it you can not break it even right now easily by a simple application of force if you want to break it you have to apply huge force like uh, something uh, a hammer and etc or you may cut it by seesaw uh, like uh, if there is a uh, chair of uh, wood you can cut it by seesaw if there is a chair of iron you can cut it by welding machine so you can cut it you can break it you can uh, crush it also but do you think can you crush water can you cut water can you cut water by seesaw can you cut water by welding machine no you can't do that similarly you breathe air you know and air even it is not visible easily water is visible you know but uh, chair is visible but air is not visible you have seen the light have you seen light no you haven't seen light in presence of light you can see other things but you haven't seen light you will say what you are talking sir uh, i can see tube and light in there uh, bulb tube and led and so many things are there uh, they are source of light they can produce light they are tube not light they are led which produce light they are, they are source of light but light you cannot see i i see uh, you between you and me there is a light but will you see can you see this you have not able to see this because you will see in my face if you are looking in between in these two hands you will see my face but not light in presence of light we can see other items but we cannot see light so there are so many different type of items are there one that can be cut it that cannot be cut it cut it like chair cut it like a uh, apple it is a, have a definite shape have a definite size water there is no definite shape if you put in glass it will be a glass size if you put in a put in a tube it will be tube size if you put in a huge tub it will be a tub size so there is no fixed size but have a definite volume 100 ml milk will remain 100 ml whether you will put in tube whether you will put in basket like tub or even in glass it will remain 100 ml there is no change in volume so have a definite volume and you can feel it you cannot cut it you cannot cut water uh, water is uh, from the tap if it is flowing you cannot keep it you cannot cut it but you can cut it the wood you can cut it apple you can cut it uh, any other food item those who are in solid nature but we can feel it all these things we can feel it we can see it. there is a physical presence but some of them have physical presence we can feel it but we cannot see it directly 
if you are looking for light, it is very difficult to see from naked eye. You will see the particles which is coming and those which are formed light by microscopic region. Very minutely uh, by instrument you can see that something is coming. And what is that? That is packet of photons which emits light. Air has fine particles that cannot be seen by naked eye. But microscopic vision, you will see there is a molecule of oxygen, carbon dioxide and other uh, nitrogen and other gases as well. Maybe it can be observed by microscopic vision, but it cannot be seen by naked vision. Can we heap it? Can we cut it? No, we cannot cut air. Otherwise, we will cut air from China and there is no uh, problem with China and India. We can cut because air is coming through, uh, going through Himalaya and Himalaya will uh, create obstacle. Maybe. Is it possible? No, it is not possible. So we cannot cut air supply. We can cut oxygen supply if it is supplied from a pipe, but we cannot cut in general. Air cannot be cut. It cannot be break. It cannot be crushed easily. So, the different type of substances are there in nature. And all of them are made of particles. And all particles are made of matter. So matter is a very, very smallest fundamental item by which all around us, what the things you supposed to be there that are made of. Isn't it interest, strange that all the things, whether they are solid or liquid or gases, whether it is an air or water or chair or an apple, all these things are made of matters. So if all the things, there is a question which is coming in your mind that if all the things are made of matter, then why they have different types? Why some of them are solid, some of them are liquid type, some of them are gases type? Yes, this is a question which you should know in this topic. And let me remind you that this topic is very very interesting and you will learn a lot of things which is going around you and uh, how this can be differentiated from one to another by on, on the basis of their properties so they have some different properties so we will discuss in this topic that matter around us matter in our surrounding so this is the topic and that I am going to discuss today. I myself are Singh and I am here on behalf of Arvind Singh Academy to deal with this uh, topic that is chemistry and first topic of this chemistry is uh, matter in our surrounding. So we will discuss today this topic and uh, definitely you will be able to enjoy this and you will learn a lot of basic things uh, about the chemistry and uh, you will be able to correlate the things which is around you that how they are made of so without wasting time let me uh, discuss this topic and we are going to discuss today this matter in our surrounding so on the basis of the different behavior of the substances which is around you um, that uh, you can say that matter is uh, something which has which occupy a space and have mass even atmosphere air has also mass even though it is negligible but have mass and this creates occupy a space what i am discussing about chair and apple they all occupy a space and they have mass even water occupy a space and have mass so whatever things you can assume you can think of all of them have mass and they occupy a space and they are called matter. So matter is nothing else but matter is 
made up of particles which occupy ma uh, space and having mass. So, first let me write about the matter, what is matter and how to deal with uh, this. So, let me write the definition of matter. Matter is made of particles, particles which occupy occupy a space and have mass having mass that is called matter uh, moreover about the matter it has been discussed in our uh, uh, our uh, rig veda that is an epic granth epic book from written by Aryans that there are five elements Prithvi, Vayu, Agni, Jal or Akas. These are Akas means sky, Jal means water and earth and Vayu means air. Prithvi means earth. So all these five basic elements of this nature and all of them are made of matters. So matter is basic, very basic. Uh, recently, there was an experiment and uh, the basic fundamental particles of matter is uh, already uh, discovered on, by the experiment, different experiment time to time. And Higgs boson was the two scientists, Higgs and boson, uh, two scientists there and they have developed that what the fundamental particle which made of uh, all the things in the universe and they are said that this is god particle so that particle is basically a matter so god particle is also a matter and uh, god particle is basic very basic basic um, things which uh, create all the universe and made all the items in this universe all the substances in this universe but this is beyond of this capacity of this class so we will not going to discuss about the higgs boson experiment and uh, um, the god particle but here what we will discuss about the matter is made of particles which have which occupy a space and having mass occupy of a space means what they have a volume so uh, we can say matter has mass and volume so that is we can say matter is a particle is a particle having having mass and volume mass and volume right now because there is a volume and therefore all type of matters whether uh, they are solid type or liquid type or gas type they have volume and they have mass also so these are the two basic things which is required although volume may be fixed or may not be fixed but they have volume they occupy a space and that is the basic characteristics of matter that we are going to learn today so on the basis of this um, characteristics and different type of substances which you can observe around you, you will find that matters are of basically can be classified into three different types. One is solid, another is liquid and third one is gases. So solid, liquid and gases. But how and why we will classify, we will consider that this substance is solid or liquid or gas on the basis of certain characteristics, their physical properties, they have certain parameters on the basis of this that we will classify that whether they are solid or liquid or gas or whatever. So let me uh, tell you the physical properties of matter and classification of matter. So first of all, I am going to classify the matter classification, classification of matter, right? we are going to discuss today classification of matter that how matter can be classified so we can classify that matter uh, classification of matter depending upon their uh, some characteristics 
matter can be classified in terms of uh, solid, liquid and gas. Just uh, for sake of convenience, I am writing this. Uh, we will discuss it later on and gases, right? So matters are classified in three forms, solid, liquid and gases, what I told you. So to understand that why they have been classified in three different uh, types and different names are given solid, liquid and gas, uh, we have to understand the nature and characteristics of matter. On the basis of this only you can uh, define this, that how the substance is solid, liquid or gases. So in matter, matter is what? What is the characteristics of matter? To understand this in detail, we uh, are looking for characteristics of matter, then only we will be able to explain this. So, characteristics of matter, I am going to discuss here, what is the characteristics of matter? So, characteristics of matter, uh, the, what is the characteristics? So, first thing is that about the matter, that matter are continuous, matters are continuous and uh, they are continuous continuous means uh, you cannot say that air is somewhere like this here and here and there is a gap between no it is not possible similarly if there is a water say uh, water is flowing you cannot say there is some water and there is a gap and then there is some water which is flowing no between two uh, place of water two uh, segment of water there is a uh, huge gap of years no this is not like even wood, you can see that wood are continuous. All the fine particles of wood are attached to one another and they are continuous. So, matters are continuous. Where there is no matter at all, there is also uh, some matter which is exists. For example, if I am saying that no matter, it doesn't means that there is no matter absolutely. Uh, suppose vacuum vacuum i am saying it means there is no air vacuum uh, in a space we are saying that there are huge gap and huge huge space uh, where there is no air atmosphere is not exist but doesn't mean there is no matter right now there are so many planets on which there is no atmosphere but doesn't mean there is no matter matter is still exist atmosphere doesn't exist a space is there, vacuum is there, but still matter is exist. So no matter means I am saying about no atmosphere, but still matter is exist there and those matters are unseen matters which cannot be observed. There is some ray may be there, some light particle may be there and light particle is also a kind of matter. So that is why uh, if there is a huge space between earth and sun, and there is a huge gap between these two uh, after certain limit of it, uh, around us earth uh, there is atmosphere and beyond that there is no atmosphere at all uh, for example approximately 36000 kilometer um, um, around the earth uh, there is an atmosphere and beyond that there is no atmosphere at all and um, that is a say uh, beyond this is a gravitational attraction there is just um, beyond of this uh, for, uh, this is beyond of the um, gravity of earth so 36000 kilometer although it is very rare very uh, insignificant there atmosphere but still we can assume that there is uh, up to 36000 kilometer um, exactly 35786 kilometer and uh, this is the all around the earth there is a gravitational force of attraction where the things can be uh, placed they can come to the earth atmosphere but beyond that there is a vacuum but in that vacuum also light is coming so light is coming from sun and light is also a particle and particle is what particle is made of matter is made of particles so there is a matter so matter exists isn't it? Matter exists everywhere in this universe. Everywhere. Matter exists everywhere. And it is continuous. It is assembled somewhere in form of solid, somewhere in form of liquid, somewhere in form of gases, and somewhere 
there is no specific type for example if i am saying that uh, there is a gap between a huge space between huge vacuum between um, earth and sun or between any two other stars even then there is a matter but that is not in form of solid or liquid or gaseous they are in form of cosmic rays they are in form of gravitational wave they are in form of some particles which age in form of uh, ultrasonic waves or infrared or you, you may say different type of things but till now up to your standard we are just discussing about the basic knowledge and in that knowledge it will come like solid liquid and gaseous and these three variety of items these three types of items are made of matters and all of them are made of with continuous particles so matters are continuous matters are first point is that matters are continuous matters are continuous continuous you can observe that there is no gap between matters right now their age matters are continuous matters are continuous this is what continuous uh, it it means matters are thoroughly distributed and the particles of matters are in continuous motion the second point is particles of matters are in continuous motion and uh, particles of particles of matter are in continuous motion continuous motion so they are moving they are moving and hence hence they possess they possess kinetic energy you know hence they possess kinetic energy hence they possess kinetic energy kinetic energy right particles are moving particles are moving then how the substance is being created the first uh, question comes in mind that because it is made of particles and if particles have their own motion then how a definite substance is being created because there are two particles and which are moving moving so so to move any anywhere you want to move in your room there must be some space so there must be a space between two particles so that they can move so a space is the basic characteristics between two particles on the basis of which we can define whether the substance is solid liquid or gaseous this is one of the basic things that how much a space between two particles so moving it means there is a space that is called interspace between particles so there is interspace interspace between particles intraspace not inter but intraspace intra means between two particles inter means inside intraspace between two particles there is a intraspace between two particles right intraspace between two particles between two particles particles have random motion particles of matters has random motion random motion random motion random motion means there is no fixed direction of motion random motion right if temperature reach rise age if temperature rises then they will get energy the particle will get extra energy then particle will get 
particles of matter gets extra energy gets extra energy and hence the kinetic energy kinetic energy energy of matter that is particle kinetic energy of particle will increase particles increases and therefore therefore motion is faster when temperature rises when when temperature rises right now? we will discuss the mechanism of it later on but one thing that when temperature rises their motion will be faster motion of particles will be faster so kinetic energy they have there is a space how much space between two particles of matter that will, will decide their shape and one question which i have asked that how this uh, even though the particles are in motion uh, their substance has fixed shape because all the particles are in motion for example i have a pain and this uh, uh, in my hand and it is made of particles and all the particles are in motion then how this pain has fixed shape don't you think so how this pain has fixed shape so there is an interaction attraction between two particles and that attraction is called force of attraction in which they bind together so there is a force of attraction between the particles of matter so one thing that there is a force of attraction and there is a space between two particles there is a space between two particles two particles of matter called intraspace intraspace between them between particles right intraspace between the particles and one thing that to bind them together there is a attraction particles are particles of, are able to attract each other particles of matter particles of matter attract each other attract each other attract each other so there is so there is force of attraction there is force of attraction between particles of matter particles of matter which will help them binding together binding together to have a fixed have a fixed volume fixed volume and a size as well particle of matter particle of matters matters intermix intermix on their own on their own with each other with each other one particle can intermix they are getting in the spaces between two particles so 
this happen because uh, there are two different type of matters and they have a different type of stresses in between so even that uh, the particles are intermixing two different type of two different type of particles are intermixing together that process is called diffusion the intermixing of intermixing of two different type different type of particles types of particles together is called diffusion is called diffusion right now is called diffusion also on heating that is temperature when temperature increases the diffusion is faster when temperature increases temperature increases diffusion become faster diffusion become faster becomes faster you can see this there is an observation suppose you take a some, some water in a pot and put some sugar into it you will find that it will take some time 10 minutes say 10 minutes to mix them together and all sugar particles crystals they will be completely dissolved soluble in water and after some time you will observe that there is no sugar crystal you can see from your naked eye this is happen because there is a space between water molecules there is a space between the matter by uh, of which water is being made and there is a gap there is a space in those space this sugar crystals are placed and it is invisible now so therefore it is proved that there is a space between particles there is a space between particles in which other particles can be uh, accommodated or adjusted or comes in and uh, they will be disappeared so between the space of two particles and other particles can be um, inter and uh, that is invisible so this is what i can say that between two particles there is a gap and if different type of matters are coming then they will be possibility is that there may be or may not be because the different type of particles cannot mix together always some particles can mix together for example if you uh, uh, maybe uh, some question coming in your mind that why you are saying that suppose i am putting wall uh, oil into water they cannot mix together right now the intermixing is not possible water and oil not mix together but sugar and water mix together salt and water mix together so the different type of matters are available and uh, all of them different type of matters are available but all of them made of particles and particles are there some like particles where uh, the intermixing is possible and some unlike particles are there where intermixing are not possible so if i am saying that uh, this will take some time and where the sugar crystals or sugar cubes are completely dissolved in water but you can do one thing you can just try to heat them uh, in a, this uh, pan, uh, this uh, pot in which you have put water and sugar if you are start heating them the this will become faster and it will take shorter time in which the sugar cubes are or sugar crystals are completely uh, uh, dissolved in water so on the basis of that experiment you can see or you can observe that whenever temperature increases diffusion become faster so this is uh, something about uh, 
the matter that I'm uh, just introduced today and discussed today. I hope you got it that what the matter is and what are their characteristics and uh, we will discuss in uh, next video and that how solid liquid and gases are formed but before uh, this uh, ending this and just concluding the nature of the matter that matter is made of particles and particles are continuous and but even though they are continuous why continuous because uh, they are particles are moving and uh, there is no particles are moving and there is a kinetic energy between uh, of each particle there is an intra space between two particles and that is why they are able to move and they are continuously moving uh, but when temperature increases the particles get some extra energy and with this help of energy their kinetic energy increases and kinetic energy increases and therefore motion become faster and since motion become faster so diffusion become also quicker that all are interrelated correlated and you can say that uh, particles are uh, made of uh, particles uh, made as something some substance because of the uh, inter molecular interest there is a force of attraction there is a force of attraction and due to force of attraction they have a bending force in which particles have definite volume and a substance has definite volume or an item which you can see around you has definite shape or size but uh, we will discuss the some uh, not only this but some also other uh, uh, factor which will uh, decide that what the type of substance is being made and what the uh, type of things uh, uh, what the type of uh, things govern that will create a definite shape and size or not a definite shape but have a definite size or have fixed volume or not so this all we will discuss in the next upcoming classes till then bye bye god bless I hope you have understood each and everything what I have discussed today. That's all. God bless.